Hey guys, it's Sam with Survival Guy Outdoors, and today we're going to do the first look of the Stoger M3000 shotgun. Alright guys, so just some, uh, some basic info first off. Uh, so this is a 12 gauge shotgun, um, a 20, 28 inch barrel. Um, as you can see, it's got this nice uh, burnt bronze Cerakote finish on the barrel and the um, on the uh, on the barrel and the receiver here. Uh, and then it's got true timber um, true timber camo on the forend and the stock. So it's a really nice uh, combo. This is the colors here are available from Bass Pro. I'm not sure if they're available from anywhere else. Um, also, this is an inertia driven shotgun, so that means it runs pretty clean um, and it's. Uh, it's just easier to clean because it's not going to get very dirty. Uh, so I ran about 20 shells through this yesterday. Uh, as you can see, these are the ones that I use Remington game loads. Um, I don't know if you can see that, but they're 2 and 3 quarter uh, length, um, 1290 FPS, a 1 ounce shot, and it's 7 and a half, seven and a half shot. Um, I was really surprised these ran without a flaw at all. So 20, 20 shells through it. Um, it recommended like uh, a few hundred rounds of a heavy load to run through the shotgun before you loaded, um, you know, use lighter loads. But those ran flawlessly with 20 shells, so I was really impressed. Um, and it's it's been really it's been really good so far. So today we're going to be grouping it uh, with the game loads again. With uh, it comes with three chokes. So right now I have the improved cylinder choke in. I'm also going to use the modified choke and the turkey choke. So let's get started. All right, guys. So uh, again, we're going to be using Remington game loads, uh, two and a half or two and three quarters, excuse me, um, 1290 FPS and one ounce of seven and a half seven and a half shot. Uh, we're shooting at 40 yards at a big piece of cardboard just to see how it groups. And again, this is the improved cylinder choke. All right, let's go take a look. So you can see I was aiming for basically the middle of the cardboard here, um, and it's might be a little hard to see the uh, where it hit, but it's pretty well um, concentrated here. So uh, pretty impressed that that worked out well. Uh, it did spread basically around the entire cardboard. You can see some up here, some all the way to the edge here. Um, all the way at the at the bottom, so it, it spread a lot uh, over the entire piece of cardboard, but it was um, concentrated here at the center. So uh, that was the improved cylinder choke. We will now move on to the modified choke. All right, so that was the improved cylinder. Now we're going to put the modified choke in. Uh, as you can see, it comes with the wrench and everything, so that's nice. I'm going to unscrew this and put the other one in. All right, so the modified choke is now in. Uh, again, we we were gonna we covered the uh, cardboard with paper, so now we can see the group with the modified choke. So let's go. Let's take a look. All right, guys, so you can uh, see here we covered the cardboard with paper uh, with the modified choke. Again, it was pretty well centered or concentrated in the center here. Um, it looks like basically it just kind of grouped on this paper. It might have been a few that went off of it. Uh, but in general, it was just pretty well concentrated at the center. Maybe a little bit high, uh, but that could have been me. So uh, there you go. Let's move on to the turkey choke. All right, guys, so we got the turkey choke in. As you can see, this one extends past the end of the barrel uh, about an inch or so. So, uh, yep, again, 40 yards, same, same ammo, ammo uh, with the turkey choke. Let's see what happens. All right, also let's take a look. Uh, this one is a small piece of cardboard, um, and basically all the shot was concentrated on this one piece of cardboard. I don't think any of them really went off, maybe a few, but uh, as you can see, most of it's right in here. Um, and there's a few out here, but in general, it's just right in here. So, uh, and I was aiming at the center again, so that's pretty well concentrated. So there you go, that's the turkey choke. All right, guys, now to uh, end with a bang, we're gonna be shooting this uh, three inch Winchester Super X one ounce slug. This is with the improved cylinder choke, and we're shooting at a, a, a piece of or a steel plate down there. All right, y'all. So uh, that was from like probably 25 yards or so. As you can see, that's got a left a pretty substantial dent there, and uh, the back of it is bulged out. 
Um, so, uh, and this this isn't like Air 500 steel. I'm not sure what kind of steel this is, but it is about uh, probably it's it's over a quarter inch thick. It's pretty thick. So, um, yeah, that's pretty that's pretty nice. All right, guys, thanks for watching this video. Uh, I hope uh, you learned a lot from this video. I would highly recommend the Stoger M3000 for hunting or whatever uses you have for it. And I hope you uh, I hope you found this video informative. So, thanks, guys. Check out our other videos and. Have a good day.